2016 was a fabulous year for the National Library and for Ireland. People across the country and across the world connected with their culture and their heritage. And that was fabulous for us because that's really what we're about, about sharing the national collections as widely as possible and getting people to make a personal connection with the amazing materials we care for. A high point for me of 2016 was the launch of our new strategy. These are our five pillars and they really map out our path forward and upward. They're to collect, protect, connect, innovate and collaborate. And they're really what's important to us for the next five years as we move forward with the country. The National Library of Ireland has been collecting the documentary record of Ireland for 140 years now and 2016 was a, another year of highlights for us of which I suppose the great highlight was the acquisition of the Nobel Medal awarded to WB Yeats in 1923. With the medal we acquired some of the letters of congratulation including the letter from W.T. Cosgrave congratulating Yeats on behalf of Ireland. We are very grateful to the Yates family for this donation and for their generosity over the years. The preservation of our collections is of paramount importance to us here in the National Library and we were delighted to receive funding from Government in 2015 for the redevelopment of the Library. That funding will allow us to um, ensure that our collections are preserved in appropriate conditions for the future and also to redevelop the Library and provide new spaces uh, for our readers and our visitors. My highlight of 2016 is the amount of progress that we've been able to make in the planning for that redevelopment. We've been able to look back at the past of the library and understand how the library was built by researching original construction drawings from the 1880s and also performing building surveys. And we have engaged in a process of consultation with staff and stakeholders. And that process has generated um, a huge amount of innovative and exciting ideas about the future of the library and the kind of services we want to offer and the kind of spaces we want to provide for our readers and our visitors. And I look forward to those spaces becoming a reality over the next four to five years. One of the core responsibilities of the library is the preservation of the collections in our care. We rely on our conservation team to guide us to best practice in the preservation of our collections and also to carry out conservation on select items. During 2016 one of the items conserved in the library was this wonderful volume of maps from the Clonbrock estate. It dates from 1832 and is a map survey and includes names of tenants in the various townlands on the estate. What I loved about 2016 at the National Library was this sense that we were connecting people with our remarkable collections and taking our place in the national conversation. It was great to see more than 150,000 visitors engage with the Irish experience through our exhibitions, learning about the Battle of the Somme here at World War Ireland for example, or seeing the letters of the men who signed the 1916 proclamation in our exhibition signatories. We also had figures like Edna O'Brien and Mary McAleese talking to John Bowman about what that proclamation meant to them in 21st century Ireland and of course we were delighted to reach out internationally by speaking at the Irish Embassy in Britain about the National Library's long tradition of literary connections. One of the main highlights of 2016 was the large increase in our online digital content which the National Library makes freely available worldwide. We added hundreds of new websites to the National Web Archive, including 287 sites which were captured before and after the 2016 general election. In addition to the thousands of items which we digitised as part of the 1916 Commemorations Programme, we digitised a further 1,800 items, including 150 photo albums. Libraries have always been about sharing and collaboration. And our partnerships were key to so much of what we achieved throughout 2016. Dublin Culture Connects was an exciting initiative from Dublin City Council and we were really proud to work with local communities around the city to explore the culture of the capital through the story of food. On other fronts we worked with media partners and local radio to share stories from the archives. We joined with the Irish Film Institute to catalogue the archives of Liam O'Leary. We were delighted to see our beautiful images 
appear on interpretive panels along the Wild Atlantic Way that Fault to Ireland have put in place at key locations, and the Italian Cultural Institute brought us an extraordinary series of talks about Italian history and culture. All things that we couldn't have achieved without working with others. There are so many exciting things coming up at the National Library, across our reading rooms and our exhibitions on Kildare Street and in Temple Bar in the National Photographic Archive, and of course online for wherever you are in the world. There really is something for everyone and we look forward to seeing you in the library over the next year.